It is finally here. Welcome to Let's Play, not another needle contest. It's finally been released. I've been so hyped for this. So this game is basically a gigantic collab. We got 38 submissions, each made by different creators. Um, also some collab submissions. And huge shout out to Piece of Cheese 87, one of the creators of the games, who was working his butt off recently to get this game released. So huge thanks to Piece of Cheese. Also, want to mention the other creators who worked on this game as well. Uh, Patrick, GH3, Neloa, WolfyX, Denferg, and Aranex. I'm sorry if I butchered any of these names. So yeah, huge thank you to the, to the team um, which was working uh, on this game to put, it, put all the stages together and just make this game what it is now. All right, without any further ado, let's jump right into this. I just now changed my controls, so we should be good to go. New game, let's see. All right, so it seems like we have we have a hub area where we can move around. We may jump many, okay, we have infinite jump as well. Uh, we have a shop, apparently. Whoa. All right, so we can unlock Custom bullets and costumes for the kid. Hey, that's pretty nice. All right, so yeah, I already know what those um, spikes with the bow tie are. So seems like if we collect those secret spikes, we'll be able to unlock all of these things right here. All right, these are such cool costumes, dude. It's it's a Spook Jam Kid even, right? Crimson Kid Tribute, the bread, of course. Can't be, can't be missing that sprite. An astronaut, dude, this is so cool. Oh, and Unhappy Kid. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back to this area for sure once we collect a few secrets. So, um, I guess this is game start. But before that, let's actually visit the tutorial just to see uh, how much effort was put into it. I always like to explore everything there is to a game. So, alright. Guessing for people who are not too familiar with fan games. Here's some gimmicks you might encounter while playing stages in the game. Okay, so they're gonna like in, uh, introduce all of the gimmicks. That are, maybe not all of the gimmicks of the engine that was provided, but all of the gimmicks that were actually used in these stages. Uh, these spikes shift back and forth when you jump. All right. It's a pretty simple tutorial here. I like it. All right, now we have to shoot. Yeah, these spikes toggle themselves when you shoot. Right, so you can touch them when, I, when they have a low opacity. Uh, same with these blocks. Yeah, same goes for these blocks. All right. And so if you shoot while you're in them, yeah, you die. Don't like, you do not get stuck or anything. It's just that these blocks are destroyed when you shoot them. Okay, I tested that. That's true. And once you can probably figure out what these do. Yeah. So yeah, you trigger them by going under them, and uh, they won't wait for you to go like. Uh, I mean, they won't go all the way back up. Like if you go under them, while well, they're like uh, in a in a midway position, they'll still uh, crush you so if you're not fast enough. These stars modify your jumps. Black stars remove your double jump. Right. So you can now only single jump. You can't walk off and jump. It's only one jump. Uh, right, uh, grey stars will restore your double jump, and yellow stars give you triple jump. Pretty simple, so grey is just back to normal, and yeah, yellow is the triple jump. Alright, low gravity field. Uh, yeah, those gimmicks are uh, might seem familiar to you. They were used in uh, Not Another Needle game, so I obviously know what they do. High gravity field, you can, cannot jump that high anymore. Uh, this low gravity field made us made our jump really high right now we have speed fields high speed field all right oh, i should probably uh put myself on do not disturb uh sorry for the interference all right let's get back to business uh low speed field right all right pretty cool Oh, it was Eric who just uh, messaged me that I got uh, the 18th place in the contest. Hey, I'm pretty pretty satisfied with that. 
was like hoping for maybe the top 20 and it, I actually got in there. So yeah, pretty happy about that. Nice. These lasers are toggable via the red button. The red button can be touched or shot. Alright, yeah. So we can either shoot our bullet at it or just touch it. Which alternates these lasers. I like this tutorial. It's, it's really well designed so far, really. These beams add effects to the player. Purple removes your double jump. Alright, so it's just like the black star. We can only single jump right now. Yellow gives you a high speed. Okay. Yes. Blue is high gravity, red is low gravity. Also true. Uh, green resets all of your effects. Now it's just really back to normal. Screen wrapping. Ah, it can be horizontal and vertical. Yes! I actually wanted to use that at some point, but... I regret many things with my stage, but that's just that's normal. <laughs> uh, magnet fields accelerate you upwards. They also restore your double jump when you touch them. Yeah, I remember those from Culture 2. Pretty nice. Use downloads momentum to get past this one. Right? You like you can't get past this one if you just hold right, so you want to like jump into it. You have some downwards momentum, I guess, and it'll allow you. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm timing this wrong, right? Definitely something you gotta get used to, uh, but it makes sense, obviously. This coin will transform you into V-Kid. Alright, V-Kid flips, uh, flips gravity and self-jumping. So yeah, it does what the sign said. Pretty simple. The red coin will remove this effect, back to normal again. Some various vines. Red vines move you upward instead of down. Yeah, those are taken from uh, Jungle Adventure, also made by a piece of cheese. I really like those vines. Ice vines are slippery when you slide off them. Yep. Blue vines flip your gravity. Yeah, this one can be kind of tricky, so I'm glad they put a save here. So it's just like, if you use this vine, then it flips your gravity every time you use it. We can't save here, so we have to flip our gravity again. Now we can get up there, more or less. <laughs> okay. Yellow vines are sticky. You just don't move on them. Right, to save my double jump. Uh, right. Fire vines make you go fast after you jump off. Right. Oh, now we are getting to um, walk the ceiling uh, gimmicks. All right. These blocks only let you pass through if you have the correct gravity. Yes. So you can see the kid sprite right here. I only can pass through the block if I match the gravity of the sprite. So this will uh, change the gravity, but also flip the screen, which is really nice. I like those gravity flippers the most. Also looks really cool with the effect. Also, I need to mention I love the graphic uh, style of this tutorial stage. It's really cool. All right, yeah, so gravity was switched and I was able to pass through this one. If I try to go through um, the other one now, it won't let me. So yeah, gotta watch out for that. Can do some cool puzzles with that gimmick. Alright, these spikes are toggled by touching that item. Yes. So right now orange will harm me, but if I switch the spikes up, now orange doesn't, but green does. Right. Black spikes move when you shoot them. Yep. They move into the direction you shoot them at, obviously. Blue spikes create moving water when you shoot them, which can allow you to climb up this little section right here, if I spawn the water right. Ah, that was, that was bad, alright. Come on, please, get up there, you can do it. Alright, there we go. Green spikes create a square that makes any blocks it touches a non-solid. Blocks reactivate again uh, when they aren't touching the green square, so that basically means if uh, the, the green square right there makes you um, makes blocks, uh, yeah, not solid, so you can go through them, but only uh, if in contact with the green goo. Finally, this guy's a secret item you can spend at the shop. So will we actually get one already, or is it just like to show how how they look? <laughs> Maybe as a reward for completing the tutorial. Who knows? You'll fight them hidden throughout the stages. All right. Yeah, it's just. Tutorial. Have fun with the rest of the game. Alright. 
now we can actually kick off with the first stage. Tier 1. Huh. Ah, it's multiple stages. And I'm guessing those numbers mean the difficulty of the stage, maybe. Or, no, 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 no. It's, it's, uh, sorry, sorry, no. Um, we'll probably learn about the numbers uh, with these signs. Uh, press backspace to return back to the hub at any time. This will also save you in the hub, so you'll lose any progress on the stage. Okay. Yellow stars indicate difficulty rating. Ah, the yellow stars, okay. So yeah, it's just... Um, I guess uh, the submissions were put in according to the rating. So yeah, here you can see it was indeed 38 submissions. So I guess let's go by order, right? Let's start with 38. Ah, right. Oh, you get a little screenshot as well. How cool. 38 plays uh, the stage made by Dokinabi. I want to die late. Alright. 1.4 out of 10. And has one secret to get. And it's a 5 star rating. Uh, did they tell me... What's the max rating? Like the max difficulty? Well, we can just check. Oh yeah, okay, so the maximum is 5, right? Okay, so this is the highest difficulty there is. And, well, I guess, yeah, also one of the lowest ratings, but... Alright, we'll see. We'll see how the stage looks. Okay. G for God mode. Oh. So they actually offer you God mode for this one, huh? Alright, I'll try not to use it though, like, I, this should be beatable, right, without using Godmon. I really like, like, it's an interesting tile set, interesting choice of tile set, red, black and white, but it's kind of hard to recognize some of these, oh, wait, no, those are spikes, oops, <sighs> yeah, I didn't really catch that, okay, so I gotta watch out for that. I somehow got the right timing for this first jump, which really surprised me, honestly. It doesn't look to be that easy. Maybe you can rush it from the start. That looked kind of doable right there. Alright, so if this gets too difficult, I'm allowed to use God Mode, but that's a threat. Alright. As I said, I'll try to beat this without... I mean, that, that was the intention, right? And it could uh, also very well be possible that this stage was nerfed even. Okay, so... More traps. Which I gotta remember. Also, should stop hitting these spikes there. I always forget about them. Alright, this platform grab is kind of weird since... I think, yeah, the hitbox is smaller. Like, it's a very small platform. Aye, aye, aye. Alright. Already having not 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 the easiest start <laughs> into the game, but again, this what I'm doing right now is optional. Um, so I want to go up here, I guess, or not, or not. Uh, okay, I'm trapped. All right. Well, uh, let's find the way out then. <laughs> Uh, you definitely can't go to the left over there. Uh, one of my guesses would be uh, try to get up here really fast. Nah, that didn't work. Alright, I'll have to think of uh, a, a different solution then. Alright, what if I try to go up here? Is that even possible? I think I can actually position myself correctly so I can stay on the sledge and then jump up there. Huh, is it possible to jump off the block before the spikes kill you? Oh, I guess I'll find out if I try again. Yes! Alright. It is definitely possible. I don't know if that's the intended way, 
since there's stuff to the left, but I really don't know right now if that's even possible to get there. So I'll stick to my uh, my strat right here. All right, made it. Um, so yeah, do I really want to know what's over there? Uh, well, I guess I need to, since there's no way to go. Or is there? Like, I could do that diagonal, but I actually think that these uh, little sprites here are platforms. Yes. Um, all right. Since, uh, as I mentioned, that the hitbox of the platforms is smaller, it is um, harder to actually uh, platform spam. So I guess I just want to do that part in one go. So apparently I figured out the way, the way to go. All right, this should be doable now. All right, mate. Oh, okay. I saw those spikes at least. I don't think you can. There's a way to go. I think this right here is also spikes, so it wants me to go to the bottom. All right. Okay. Next save. Very well. All right. Let's attempt this next screen then. This looks uh, more straightforward. If there are no heavy traps. I mean. Uh, well, what's what's a heavy trap? I mean, all right. It looks like we'll have traps on the way, but they don't seem that hard to avoid so far. So this one just moves down. All right, we'll have uh, to trigger that somehow without dying. Maybe. Ah, okay, I tried to go ahead of the platform there. Maybe that will actually work. Let me try again. Yep. Alright, so far so good. Now I'm afraid though of more traps. Oh! Yep. Right. So, I'm not sh I think you just want to rush that part. I don't want to muck around trying to avoid that any other way. Uh, right. Ah, I have <laughs> I'm bad, dude, with remembering traps. But, okay. Should be able to get there uh, soon enough. <laughs> Dude, can I catch up that form, please? Yeah, I don't really like the choice of hitbox for these platforms, but oh well. I wonder. Like, I d I'm not sure if you have enough time to do a rejump there. Okay, I'll waste one attempt to just to see if I can actually dodge this trap somehow, like, I don't know, I, I was thinking about like jumping around the spike, the, it might be too precise or even not possible, uh, so I'll just try to do that drop in maybe one go, mm, we'll see, just, I'll just have to get there again. Yeah, you definitely don't want to jump there. So you want to leave, uh, leave what? You want to uh, weave there, uh, and then, yeah, just dodge the trap at the bottom of the screen. All right. Oh, there was even a trap. All right, what? What? Why is this here? Huh, okay. Not too sure what that is for. Oh, I thought... <laughs> okay, good th Good thing that this opens up. Makes it a little bit easier. I'm pretty sure this is also a gate. Ah, alright. Yeah, the... Talcet is rather abstract in the middle of the screen. But yeah, the, it, it was not the, the fault of the Talcet that I died there. Just didn't pull off the gate. Alright, let's see if I can get back there. All right. Um, I don't think there's anywhere I can go except doing this corner. Oh, huh, okay. So that was the intended way. Maybe the last gate. Hopefully. Let's see. 
need to go up. Okay, yes, and that was that screen. Alright. This room looks very empty. Oh, I also want to make sure that I don't miss any secrets, right? But maybe it's it's an obvious one. And that's... Okay, that's a nice trap. Gotta admit. So, you can't do anything there, right? Uh, oh. Uh, don't want to move into the block or you'll get stuck like that. I just want to um, check out right now, how does it look if you activate God Mode? Like, is there... Okay, I just said it right there. Um, alright, let's... Oh, can I turn it off? Or... Uh... I... Hmm. Well, <laughs> let me... It said I can press backspace at any time, right? So... Restart, um... Or enter the... I mean... Um... Did I... Restart? No. Hey... Can I not... Ah! Okay, um... I... I think I... I wasn't supposed to do that. Well, I got rid of the god mode though, so um... Yeah... I'll see you when I'm back there, I guess. Alright, and we are back. So, yeah. Sorry, that, that was my bad. Just activating god mode like that, not like this. Alright. So, yeah, I think the intended way to get past this trap is. Well, maybe I can like trigger it and go back. Oh. Well. <laughs> I don't know. But it did seem like it made my life easier. Huh. Maybe that's cheese though. I don't... I don't feel like... Oh. <laughs> well... Oh. What? What's happening in this stage? Um, so, yeah. Seems like we'll have lots of traps, but... If... Uh, if I can pull this off every time... It should make my life actually easier since this jump here, right here. Um, can I just rush it? Nah, okay. So I actually have to trigger that and... Like that, uh, jump onto this block. Now, can I go to the left? Nah, no. alright, I think I'll have to pull up this jump then. I think there's a spike uh, facing to the right above uh, this one, facing to the left, so it's like, yeah, some sort of get around F jump, I don't know. Um, yeah, okay. It does seem like this is not that hard to pull off, so. Dude, too many traps, dude. Can't remember them all. Alright. Yeah, that seems like a tricky jump. Alright, made it. Um, now, I guess the only way I can go is up there, but I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, so lots of stuff moves. Where's even the exit? I just realized. I don't know. It could be to the left, but there's also like a huge platform on the top right. So I guess my plan for now is uh, I'll try to get onto the platform uh, with a like with a spike that moves upwards, and I'll try to see what's on the right side. Maybe that's even the way to go. I don't feel like that'll work out with the timing, the spike. Um, I think what I'm supposed to do is jump to the left, like do the gate thingy, and yeah, then I can just loop around. And that uh, convinces me that I'm actually supposed to go to the right. Okay, so yeah, I'll just do the gate, that should be easier. <laughs> Here we go. Ay, ay, ay. It's not over, actually. <laughs> okay. So, I'm guessing I want to jump up right away, so I don't have to do that 
um, diamond gate thingy. Like, it's moving to the right, so it really shouldn't be that hard to jump through. But I... Wait, no. Did those tops... No, okay. Only the bottom spikes need... So yeah, I can actually jump over that, I think. Let's see. Maybe I don't have enough time, though. I... That's really weird. I'll just have to figure something out for that. Oh, I guess that's part of the blind experience, right? Oh, no, I, uh, I was gonna say, okay, like, I decided to do it like it's some sort of a diamond, but I got beamed afterwards right away. So yeah, you wanna, okay, you wanna jump to the right, um, immediately. Well, at least I got, uh, pass a trigger trap, uh, one, once. Okay, made it. So let's jump to the right and avoid every trap there is, no? Ah, <gasps> uh, what? I... What? I was somewhat joking about that, but... I, I, I guess there's one last trap. There, there had to be. Okay, I just committed suicide in the ceiling, but... Okay, so that actually works, and then you, you can just uh, stand on top of the spikes because the platform moves up, and that should be the end of the screen. Okay, so... Oh. Wait, what? I... Um... Yeah, I... What? <laughs> so... Are you gonna tell me that, like, the way to go is... Like, on, on um... Like, the middle right, uh, beneath those spikes right there, but... That's a diamond. And I'm very concerned, because I think that's, that might be the entrance to the secret. So, uh, I guess... <laughs> I'm not close to done now with the screen. I'll, I'll try to get in there. Alright, so let me just confirm... Yeah, okay, that spike moves there. Um, wait, no, that's not a block! Wait. I was so sure that it was gonna be a block. Wait, is the diamond you where you're supposed to go? Now I'm just... I, I, I don't even know. I think so. Yeah, so never mind. Uh, doesn't seem like there's any secret here. Yes, okay. There was, there was a tough screen, but we got past it, uh, so we can't go back. So let's figure out what this screen is all about. Okay, uh, so pretty much, I like this idea that like the, the level is building itself uh, as you go, so you can't even really call this a trap, it's just like, alright, I guess it's like, okay, this one might be a, sorry, uh, yeah, that might, that one might be a blind jump, didn't get much information out of that attempt, but yeah, okay, so you want to get down, uh, alright, couldn't see that one coming, but, alright, so, how do you want to get this memorized, like, I'm pretty sure that the third uh, platform, set of platforms, spikes, like, you, Pretty much have to. Oh, I think I've triggered um, two there at once. So. Oh, wait, yeah, that's a spike. Dude, it's really hard to tell sometimes. Okay, 
so yeah, it's not too unfair. So, oh, alright, you want to get through that with one jump and then land into the diagonal. This will be a learning experience, dude. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing there's some sort of corner skip potential to the left there, but it might not even be worth it. Maybe there's not even a safe landing and yeah, let's just proceed onwards this way. Mm, should be should be doable. But yeah, as I mentioned, it's it's quite difficult to predict where you need to go or where you need to land, even though you know that the platform is coming. It's still hard because you need to react to it. Like I cannot get all of these placements memorized. That's for sure. So yeah, just react in time. I did the diagonal twice so I can trigger the next platform. Uh, S for this jump, I'll do the same. And okay. So if you're moving horizontal, uh, that was my bad. If you're moving horizontal, you can uh, all. I don't want to say fake out, but like trigger the platforms so you can actually kind of see where you have to go. But if you're moving uh, vertically, like down, it's more or less a blind jump, I think. And I didn't get onto that platform. Alright. This should, this should be doable though. I, I'm getting a feel for it. Okay, so that's lots of stuff that appeared there. Uh, in Tender Fruit, it appears to be this one. Oh wait, this... Uh, nah, I was like, is this a new tile set? Nah, it's just like... The bottom of the screen where the tile set is, I guess, always white. And I held right there, and that's what killed me. I didn't expect <laughs> there to be a diagonal at the end. Alright, but yeah, we were close to actually finishing the screen as well. So yeah, definitely... A little bit easier than the previous one. Though I gotta admit, uh, I'm. I was about to say I. <laughs> I, di I didn't feel like there were lots of gimmicks introduced in the stage so far. Well, we had the cherry circles at the beginning, and I guess um, just moving stuff in general is the gimmick of the stage. But yeah, now we actually have a um, cherry in the center of the screen that is shooting homing cherries at us. Just after a set amount of time, alright. Um, three shots, uh, all with different speeds, but okay, we still have to admire that there are traps, or pay attention to them, uh, so yeah, I feel like uh, the best idea for this is just to rush the screen, let me just uh, look at the layout real quick, if not too much will change, this looks pretty straightforward, but I'm guessing there'll be... Again, lots of stuff uh, you don't expect to change, so... Let's see. Ah, I... <laughs> Dude, the ceiling is my enemy. Up, moving, moving, moving. Okay. I... Okay, I didn't... Really quite... See that. <laughs> so you wanna jump uh, more to the right there. And then do a loop around. Okay. I think I got it now. Let's see if I can get up to this point uh, again. Ah, got cut by the cherry there again. But yeah, um, seems seems alright. And go for it. 
Wait, what? Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! The exit isn't to the right. It's down there. So, oh. What? Well, how, why did I deserve that? What, what did I do? What, I can't even replicate it. What? Excuse me? What did I do? To make that... Oh, alright. Well, that's random. Um. Okay, yeah, so you actually want to go down the middle. So, over to the right is just a trigger that you want to hit, so... Alright, that will make the timing with the cherry a little bit more complicated. Also, I don't quite get, like, what's the thing, um... Behind the cherry? Like, there's something that's rotating. Wait! I know what that is! Uh, those are the lines of um, the secret spike, if you remember it. So, that's where the secret is. But wait, how would you get it? Like... I don't think there's any way to enter the center and there's no way to like shoot through to like kill the cherry or something. So yeah, right now I don't know, I'm pretty sure that's a secret but I don't know right now how to get it. Um, I just have to see him. Maybe, maybe like the cherry will disappear if we enter the final area of the screen. Um, yeah, let's just see what happens. Alright, that was, uh, that was pretty close, but couldn't quite get the drop gate. Uh, Alright, um... I... I don't think I did that right. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually get the secret. Um... Alright. Uh, that means though, I, I wouldn't really call this, uh, stage beaten in that case. Um... You know what? Uh... Alright, I, I beat the stage, I'll... I'll just try to go back for the secret with, uh using god mode. If, I, I hope that's fine with you guys. Um, I just uh, didn't really catch how to get it so... Alright. It does... So there actually was stuff to the left, huh? So I've never... I've never actually beaten this room uh, how it was intended. So yeah, let's not risk death right here. I'll just... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just get, get back to the points where I was. To the last screen. Um, oh. <laughs> well, even even died with God Mode there. I... Please, I... Forget about all of those traps already. Um, so yeah. Okay, there, there was nothing... There's nothing there. Okay. Just wanted to be make make sure of that. <clears> hmm. <throat> That's a sketchy last jump. So will this work? I hope I won't get stuck inside of blocks. Um. What did I just say? Uh. So yeah. I guess for this one I'll just. Yeah, this should work. Okay. So this screen right here. Uh, was there something I have missed on the end of the screen? Like, I triggered this right here, and the only way I could have gone was there. Like, maybe. Ah! Oh, there was. A I didn't even see that! Oh! Wow, okay, that seems really difficult. So, like, to time this with the, with the cherry, and then those two final jumps, and then you can, like I said, shoot the cherry. And get the secret. Alright. I feel kind of bad for not noticing that. But on the other hand, uh, it seemed to add um, quite a difficulty 
to the last screen of the of the stage. So I think it's alright. We beat the stage uh, how it was meant to be. Now, oh. if we don't look at what I did at the first screen, but yeah, how it was intended to be beaten. Uh, but we, I didn't actually get the secret um, without using God mode. But I think it's it's still quite alright. Okay, so um, that is that stage done. I gotta say um, for the lowest rating in the game, I didn't actually dislike it that much. Like it had some weird moments with the um, with the traps that felt uh, kind of awkward to dodge, and also the tile set uh, that was chosen. Um, I, I think it could have been implemented better. So the gameplay is actually well. I guess it was meant to be hard to see. It's just like the theme of the stage, uh, the atmosphere, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I, uh, it had it had um, cool ideas, like with the um, level that was like building itself as you go, and uh, as well as a final screen with the with the homing shots on the cherry. I, I don't know. Uh, sure, it could have been more enjoyable, but overall, I don't really want to hate on it or something. It was quite alright. Um, alright, so actually, um, hold on a second. I thought of something that I could do uh, for this, which uh, I've decided I also want to do. Um, there's uh, in, in the folder of the game, there's actually a file called a Judge Feedback. And now that we've beaten the stage, I'd like to um, read out the, the feedback that uh, the judges uh, wrote for this stage, this first stage. Alright, so let me just open the text file so I can read it out. Alright, stage uh, made by Dokinabi. <clears throat> While admittedly there is some interesting design here, it is obviously far too difficult for what we are aiming for. Yeah, I can I can agree. It was definitely well, a full five stars, right? So yeah, definitely some tricky jumps in there, uh, corners, uh, diamonds, stuff like that. Um, Alright, I'll continue now. That, combined with the rather unpleasant visuals, made us uh, put god mode on the stage as none of the judges could reasonably play the stage. Some spikes are virtually invisible, which is extremely unreasonable for a platforming stage as the difficult as this. So that was the review uh, from judges about the stage. And yeah, I can definitely see they're arguing there. Um, yeah, some spikes are really hard to see, <laughs> uh, that's true. But like, it, it, it was playable, right? Well. To an extent, like I got through it, but obviously not a hundred percent. But yeah, so I don't want to waste too much time on the stage. But like I, I, I didn't hate it or anything. Like it's, it's it's fine as it is. So I'm guessing the judges didn't change it. They just added God mode. So well, I don't know if this stage actually um, got some nerfs or not. But all right, we beat it. And right, so let's move on. To, uh, I'm sorry, that's not right. Uh, to 37, uh, yeah, so uh, 37th place, a stage made by Dark Saint Diablo, and uh, it's called Sacred Vortex. All right, that's a pretty cool name. Rating is two out of two out of uh, 2.2 out of 10. Sorry. All right, let's see what this is about. And of course, I will read out the um, rating for the stage after I beat it. So wait. Uh, I'm sorry, let me... Okay, rating, uh, difficulty rating 3 out of 5 stars. So this should be definitely easier than um, in the last stage we got through. So right away we can see that... Um, oh, I gotta admit I, I really like the like the visual style for this. So just, well not just as in the last stage, but like the visuals are like appearing when we get near them, right? <laughs> so it's like... It looks like, how am I supposed to beat this? But actually, if you just keep on going, um, it doesn't abstract your vision. So I really like that addition. And the first gimmick that we see being implemented is the um, spikes that uh, change their location when we jump. 
so actually let me see right okay should, shouldn't be that hard of a gimmick to deal with I made that jump easier for myself there uh, cherry circle right easy enough to dodge and also a rotating spike right here okay you can avoid it pretty easily so I'm guessing this screen is just uh, one save yeah Okay, so how do we wanna time this? Maybe like that? Alright, it worked out. Now, if I don't wanna do that gate, I should do this jump like that. Oh no, 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 that's the save. Alright, never mind then. I just couldn't see it. So... Oh wait, what? What happened? Oh. Was I... Oh, now they're like shoot spikes. Wait a second, could it be that, oh my god, I think I know this layout. Isn't this like the Rukito um, area layout, or one of the screens? Okay, so now we're implementing another gimmick, that um, the, the shooting spike one. So, every time we shoot, they switch if they kill me or not. Also, this cherry circle changed. I gotta say, this is pretty creative, or... Wow, okay. So yeah, I'm guessing there's no really way to get to the save, so I'll have to go through this first part twice, but it'll have different uh, additions to it each time. I, I'm really a friend of that idea. I think that's really cool. Alright. So the first time around, the screen isn't too bad. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I can't make that. So, the hard jump here is an F jump, but like, if you fail it, uh, yeah, yeah, look, uh, like, if I hold right, yeah, you don't, you don't die. So you actually have as many goals uh, on this F jump as you like. That's pretty cool. It's very generous. Okay, let's see if we can survive this cherry part this time around. So, yeah, the, the movement is... Ah! I don't know if I'm safe there, on the bottom. Right, uh, yeah, I'll just... I'll just get back there. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I said, I so far, this is really impressive. Alright, finally got past that cherry part. Uh, right, yeah, so it's just shoot spikes. They don't change if I jump. And okay, now nope. oh, that spike is gone now. How did I jump too low there? It was weird. Right, let's see. Yeah, I did mess it up. Cool. Right, next save. Let's see. Yeah, okay, nah, this is definitely the Rukito layout. But introducing a new gimmick. Um, those platforms. Like, if you lower the one it's attached to, the other one is uh, rising up. So. Right now, that we made, that we did that, it's possible that I can uh, platform hop on the ceiling there. A uh, gravity switch, which allows me to get onto this platform. Oh, I was expecting maybe to um, that it, that it rises up basically, so I can access another area. But this is actually a moving platform this time around, uh, which I was actually expecting expecting this one to be a moving platform. So. Alright, the the next gimmick will then be the moving platform. Uh, let's see if I can get used to the uh, timing there, the gameplay. So okay, it's moving. Uh, okay, it's moving rather slowly, which makes that part a little bit scarier than I anticipated. I can actually just touch it from down there. Alright. Um, yeah, definitely looks like it's it's gonna be a tricky part but we'll see we'll see I only got there like three times so far so okay so if my theory is correct there should be a warp on the top left right now and there is Okay, nice. First 
Oh my god. <laughs> First room is done. And now we have uh, the famous Secret 5 meme. Which- WHAT?! I love the visual effects for the stage! This is so cool. Alright, and the... yeah, obviously it's getting buffed each time we, in this case, flip the gravity. Which is... Oh, wow. I'm such a fan of the stage so far, you don't even know. Alright, uh, so far so good. And there's actually the warp. Is this the last jump? Well, I could technically... Well, there's no indication that there would be a secret, so I'm not gonna risk it. Let's just go into the portal. Oh. Wait, that was the end though. <laughs> okay, GG. <laughs> um, right, but yeah, I actually didn't miss any secrets, right? Since it is mentioned here, secrets, one out of one. I liked that one. Yeah, this stage did not have a secret. Okay. So I'm glad I didn't miss anything. Um, alright. Then, let me get back to this text file right here. Oh yeah, uh, so... I think I've stated my opinion about the stage as I was going. I the difficulty wasn't that hard, but like maybe you could have called the visuals distracting, but like ah, like it, it was really fair. Like each um, each part, you could totally see what you were doing, and I really loved how you had to like uh, loop around the same area, but the gimmicks were changed up each time. And like he made a really good like remake if you can call it that, of the like uh, Rukito layout and as well as the Secret 5 um, screen which uh, was a little bit easier in my opinion I didn't spend too much time on it but it was also pretty well designed like it didn't have anything to like com complain about that stage it was, it was very enjoyable in my opinion so let's see why this got such a low rating uh, Dark Saint Diablo. We still aren't sure if this was a joke uh, slash meme entry or not, but with how it was original, originally submitted, uh, the stage was unplayable due to the visual effect. It has been changed in the compiled game so that we wouldn't need to put God out on another entire stage. And now, okay, wait. So, uh, did the judges actually make it um, that the visuals act like they did? In this version, they said it's it was unplayable. Huh, alright. Well, in that case, I can kind of understand what was going on there. Yeah, okay. Um, another reason why the stage scored low is because both room layouts are taken from another game. Okay, well, yeah, I guess that's true. It wasn't like an original layout, but still, like, the way it was implemented into the game, like, into the. The, the way the gimmicks were implemented I thought was like really cool, but... Alright, yeah, according to this uh, review, so I'm glad we're doing this as well, so we don't get like a totally wrong picture of like, we can also like get a... get a view of the like original stage that was submitted if we read the view reviews, uh, review, so yeah, okay, I'm glad we did that. But yeah, as it is in the game, I it was definitely playable and... I, I enjoyed my time with it, right? So, right. Uh, I think, yeah, we can. Um, what do you think, guys? I'd, I'd say uh, three areas for one part sh should be good enough, so we can um, beat the remaining three in the in the next one. So let's actually also beat um, place thirty six, created by Let Create One Two Three. Uh, this area is called the Tiny Castle. Uh, star rating is 2.5 out of 5, so it's like the sweet uh, middle, <laughs> right? Um, score 4 out of 10. So I just want to like make sure that like the rating always increases as we move on. Yeah, it seems to be the case, okay. 
so with each area the rating will improve so got lots of stuff to look forward to since well this game is obviously pretty huge right um all right so yeah let's actually give this one a go and if we pay attention there's actually not a secret on the stage as well so let's get going all right i'm assuming right <laughs> that was that's a good first impression <laughs> that's all right yeah it makes sense okay so obviously we like climb up this um abandoned castle or like it's, it's night time we should be in bed but we we want to go on an adventure and here we are oh i'm liking i'm liking the music but right away okay so we are using the um, fl floaty gimmick i don't really know how to call it honestly but yeah and I want to make sure it always replenishes your double jump for camp. That's good to know. So I want to drop into this and... Whoop! Alright, that was, that was bad. Like, I want to like, uh, use the momentum that is given to like jump over those three spikes right there. Yeah, as I mentioned in the tutorial, this is something you want, you need to get used to at first, but... Yeah, it shouldn't be too tricky. Um, Alright, so... I got actually too much momentum there. That's why. I, yeah, I just flew into the spikes. Ah, uh, well, it keeps happening. Please, I just yeah okay. I, I can see what my mistake is there. So I want to get lots of downwards momentum, so I make sure I don't live right away. And now, get over there. Ah, uh, wait, I didn't even look at the landing there, but. Yeah, seems like we want to do that weave, and it should be enough downwards momentum to get us like past that part, so we can just hold to the right and be done with the screen. Uh, one thing I gotta mention is that um, I think the the edges of these uh, things uh, could have been like made more uh, visually appealing, so it doesn't look like they're like cut off. And if you pay attention to the very right pillar, it also like the sprite doesn't line up. Well, I guess th it makes sense. Uh, so like that part I guess is, is more fun to play but yeah I think there could have been done something about that to just make it look more pleasing but uh, I'm nitpicking right here so <laughs> that's it's really not too bad also I think this is the original sprite right so like the of the floating gimmick uh, also the spikes look the same I okay I didn't pay attention um, in the previous stages, I don't know why I'm paying so much attention here now. But yeah, I, I'm I'm liking the tile set, like the the blocks, the castle rock blocks, look, look pretty good. Um, all right, so I'm actually struggling quite a lot on the well, you can call it the second screen, but the first one was really just like the intro to the stage, which is always a cool thing to have, right? If you have like just an introduction screen to like get a feel for the theme of the stage, for the atmosphere. So definitely a plus for that. And right. So next screen we have uh, the I want to kill the guy uh, switches. I don't think I've mentioned that in the tutorial, but yeah, those are taken uh, sprites taken from I want to be the guy. Uh, kill, sorry, kill the guy. <laughs> um, yeah, those were also not modified. Um, one button that was even stretched like. All right. Usually not a fan of like how stretched objects look like, uh, but I guess, I guess it works. Mm. Just wanted to make the hitbox bigger, I guess. So, wow. <laughs> okay, that's kind of tricky, but you can already see that there's a save right away. So just need to nail that part. Um, what? <laughs> I mean, beat it how it was intended. Uh, so we wanna. Oh, I can actually take my time here. Wait a second, that's cool. Um, I'm also... I don't think the jump refresher is right, right? Since this gimmick right here replenishes your double jump. But I guess it, it works. Um, so we want to hit that, like, go through the gate, hit the switch. Um, wait a second, I think I want to actually avoid the second one, the second switch. I think that's, that's a possibility right there. Like, just, yeah, okay, I didn't dodge it there, but you see what I was going for. 
Um, I think it's also possible if you like hit it two times, but you can actually also just avoid it. Yeah, I guess that's the reason why it was stretched to make that maneuver a little bit harder, but we got it. Alright, moving on to... Um, you can actually just chill on this uh, platform. I don't know if that was intended, like maybe you'd wanted to, to do that in mid air, which is totally fine either way. And let's see, okay, this platform is actually also pretty timed that you... Pretty timed? Well timed, that you can actually catch it on the first cycle. Ah, okay, and uh, you have to avoid a bullet bill that is shooting and hit the switch to the left. Okay, I didn't pay attention. You have to jump a little bit higher to actually shoot through the spike. Uh, jump over the bullet bill and always change the switch. I'll change it one more time. Okay, it was a bad call. Didn't react to that, but yeah, okay, this... I like the save. It's, it's good. Alright, that was fun. Um, Right, this just looks like a drop where you want to hit the switch at the right time. Wait, oh, I think, oops, <laughs> I think I could have just dropped there. Uh, yeah, so that was actually, that's not good. Like, um, so basically if you beat this, beat this uh, sorry, beat the second save and then uh, get here, you can skip the first maneuver of the next one. So. Uh, the lasers at the bottom sh should have been alter alternated, so it's actually not um, possible to cheese it that way. Um, maybe it was just like an oversight, but... Alright, well, anyway, like, uh, eventually it makes it so if you die the first time, the save suddenly gets harder. Even though... Alright, and... Oh, that was it. Okay, that was a, that was a pretty short stage, but... Alright, for that one, um... Well, I don't know, it, it, it just had some uh, fun platforming, like uh, how the gimmicks were implemented. It was uh, it was a right, but yeah, as I mentioned, uh, maybe a little bit more playtesting could have went into that. And I would have appreciated if there were actually uh, custom sprites for um, for the gimmicks, but uh, like I don't want to judge too hard. Uh, of course, we also got uh, participants which were not that um, experienced with game makers, so maybe um, the person who submitted this uh, didn't quite know how to make it work um, so yeah I don't want to like uh, say it was bad just because of that no, it was it was enjoyable platforming and I had fun with it just as the last stage we did uh, place 37 so uh, right let's check the rating also for this one oh, that's that's a short sentence right there uh, all right so the rating uh, from the judges about let create stage is it's a very short stage and the saves aren't incredible um, not to mention we had to change them all right so as well as for the last uh, stage where the visuals were changed uh, for this one the uh, the platforming where was a little bit changed I guess to make it more enjoyable of course and yeah it was also it didn't have that much content so Obviously, with a rather uh, short stage, uh, but yeah, it didn't make it to the to the last place. So it's it's a start, right? You can definitely improve on um, on the ideas you had, uh, and yeah, think of think of more um, ways you can implement those gimmicks. Uh, all right, so yeah, I definitely had had fun with um, the stages we did. Um, I maybe actually even enjoyed the, the Dark Saint Diablo stage a little bit more than uh, that creates, but maybe that's just because I am a um, tiny fan of like uh, uh, K3 memes and stuff. But yeah, um, all right. So yeah, that was an overall alright first impression of the game. Uh, like, like yeah, sure. I can guarantee that we are gonna get lots of. Um, amazing content along the way. This was just the beginning, but I think uh, three areas are quite enough for the first part. Uh, recording has been going on for like one and a half hours, so yeah, I think it's a it's a good moment to cut it here. And I hope you're also enjoying this game so far as well. And <laughs> right, I'm just still so flashed that it's actually out. Um, it's really it's really amazing. Alright, 
So yeah, as I mentioned, uh, I'll stop here and beat the next three areas in the next part. Uh, hope you're also looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, see you in the next part. Take care. Think of that from now on That's your habitat I'm a blue tie You know, she's a guinea tie You're a hing gang She's a dude So all my bed on the wacky sky Boys and girls with everything between us Undead souls never seen Putting on a mask Why you ask for the bed at all That's your task